Thank you for watching this clip of Not My Bag. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're listening, give a five star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. I had another question because I remember this, I think it was like a couple of years ago. And there was this um, talk about the Pussycat Dolls reforming, but like a new generation and like Pia Mia was going to like head it up. <laughs> was that a thing? Because I was so, at the time I was like, I'm sorry, but if, if any Pussycat Dolls come oh, back, oh it's like God. you guys. Um, Yes, that was a thing. And <laughs> the way that, that went about. <laughs> I suppose that's a really random person to like be the forefront of the group. Pia yeah. Mia, like, mm. yeah. I don't know, out of everyone. <laughs> get Gaga in or something or... <laughs> what? Well, like, she stole one of their songs <laughs> already. <laughs> she might as well come on and sing it, was, it with them. It was just such a rogue thing to be like, do you know what, we're going to create a next gen of Pussycat Dolls. It was really, yeah. Was I mean, I'd been having chats with them for, like I said, it took two years to get the contracts done. And previous to that, you know, we're just trying to figure it out. And um, we we're all moving forward, and I thought everything was going great. We're, and then <laughs> I was speaking to some TV companies about doing a documentary about how we were going to reform and make it all happen and get back right. on stage. Yeah. And the night before my last big meeting, getting the whole project over the line, I got a call from the manager. I was like, so listen, we're going to make all of you guys ambassadors of the brand. And when you go to your TV meeting tomorrow, just tell them that it's now Pia Mia and all new girls. <laughs> I was like, what? Where did this come from what do you mean ambassadors <laughs> of the brand <laughs> it felt like such a smack in the face that is that's yeah. taking the piss it was that really is thanks thanks no, I it is. Say it. <laughs> you see you, it like you I see are it. the pussycat dolls they're like oh so you're gonna be an, you're gonna be an ambassador now <laughs> like, we're ambassadors <laughs> for brands aren't mean? we we we're so I'm, I'm yeah. so taken aback by that you yeah. know jack wills have brand ambassadors yeah. or sports star you don't say to a pussycat doll, i think you're gonna be a brand sit this one out I think you're just going to reshare some stuff in your stories. Oh, and, yeah. uh, that's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. It is crazy. You've really been through it, haven't you? I have, babe. I bet you had to like hold your tongue when you got that call. Like, oh, okay, really? Oh, is my that, God. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Is that true? I bet the mute button on an iPhone came really <laughs> handy then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, one sec, one sec. Jeez. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. So that happened. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but no. it didn't work, did it? No, no it, good. it didn't and happen. Good. It didn't happen. Because yeah. I feel like stuff like that, it's obviously, it wouldn't be the same as the original Pussycat Dolls anyway. It'd be a anyway. parody group. And then that's what I mean, everyone, you would get like the memes being made about you, like what, what is this? People want to see, if you want to see the Pussycat Dolls, you want to see the original Look Pussycat at the Sugar Dolls. Babes Thank as you. well. Like they had like 20 million lineups yeah. and by the time that they did that, you know when they kind of, um, they were all new girls and I mean, I love those like three songs that they released. Like, yeah, they're but badass. they're more like parody songs. Do you know what I mean? Get like, Sexy. I listen to them now. I mean, Such a great track. Insane. Where My Kiss. Yes. <gasps> so good. But I mean, like I look back now and all my friends, we're like, we love these songs, but they're like so trashy. It, it, you look at the original Sugar Babes when you want like Sugar Babes, which yeah. would be the same if, if that was happened, I think. so. I can't think of like a boy band that, is, that has ever happened to. No, neither actually. I could imagine with someone like One Direction, they, when they all wanted to split up, they were like, oh, we'll try and get someone else in and you guys can, and obviously look how that I don't think they'll well. ever get back together now. No. No. Mm, there's no. no, I can never. Not with Harry Styles flying Do you see like Harry you. Styles and Liam Payne actually performing together now? <laughs> <laughs> no. I can't see Harry's performing with anybody. No, really. me neither. No. Me neither. That man is a god. That man is an absolute... <laughs> He's ghost. We saw him at um, Summertime Ball in the summer, uh, Capitals one, and we um, and he came out and there was all like these 12-year-old girls screaming. I was like, yeah! <laughs> he was one of them. <laughs> running out of the way off the balcony. I was like, get fucked. Um, <laughs> I was loving it. I was absolutely loving it. Oh, oh he's amazing. amazing. He's amazing. Was there any actual doll that never sang on any album? No. No. You all sang. No. You always had a part to play. Ooh. <laughs> 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 no, it was always something. <laughs> I mean, look, at least you get in the studio and get on with your day. Babe, I'm not complaining. No, you know, no. you just gotta own it. It is what it is. It was always built. You know, at least there's some oohs and ohs. Exactly. You know? There's room for everybody. Enjoy what you get. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm having a look as well because there was one. Um, I mean, no, we've already touched on the tour. Oh, I love this question. Rank. I don't know if you can do this. Rank your favorite Pussycat Dolls that you're closest to. Do you know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, Ashley's always, she's been my closest mate since before we were in the band together. Okay. She's oh. auntie to my kids. Like, oh, that was yeah. Lovely. Yeah. So she's like the closest one. She's the closest one. Yeah. yeah. Who's your least closest one? Not in a um, bad, bad way. Just, just, just someone you couldn't know. Just someone you really catch up with. Or, yeah. 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 Um, gosh, I don't know, really. Probably Carmeet because she was in the first album and then not in the second album. Right. So we've created a lot of history. 
um, with and without her. Yeah. But only because of that. Okay. Just touching on that yeah. quickly, do you still like keep in contact, like, or, like good contact with them or like, I don't know, I wouldn't say like meet up for lunch and stuff because obviously you guys are all super busy, but do you have time where like even if it's a quick FaceTime or something? I mean, I'd like to think so. I certainly put it out there and I try my best, but girls are busy. The fact that we're split between LA and over here makes say, it yeah, tough. Across like the world. having three kids makes it difficult, but like I, it's, it's a funny relationship because I absolutely adore them and I love them. They feel like family, like most of the dolls were my bridesmaids and my wedding. Like the love is real and yeah. it's deep, but there's also like, you know, we're both all sitting here kind of dealing with the feelings of the fact that we were supposed to go on a world tour that hasn't happened yet. Yeah, yeah. bittersweet. So, yeah, it is really bittersweet. Mm. It feels like there's this big unending. So even as friends, when you get together, as much as we love each other, there's still like... This like yearning of yeah, what, what if when what, it's gonna happen? What, just, what, yeah. what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I get you hundred <laughs> percent. Well, someone else asked. Um, I mean, we found out with Mel C that she had a fight. Um, you know, while touring, I just wondered: is there have been any like drama or beef while touring, or do you know, like, because it's it must be quite a high pressured environment to be with these girls. Even like so tiny hard. things, like if someone's running late, like you can we you're running thirty seconds, someone's like, oh, I, I need a oh, wheel. You're like, really amicable. I'm like, has there been any punch ups? No, any yeah, hands? Yeah, any yeah, nails I'm saying is, is someone leading up to you, going up to him like. Can get you Babe, together, there's like, like so many dramas, of yeah. course. Like they worked us so hard. We were mm. worked the bone. We were worked harder than 50 Cent and Eminem at the time who were flying high. Like, yeah. you know, they 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 wanted to see a, a they wanted to see the bank account fill from us. Yeah. So we yeah. did everything. Yeah. Which meant that we were tired. And mm. We put everything on stage and emotions were running high and everybody wanted to make their mark. So of course there were times where, mm. you know, there was there was cat fights, shall yeah. we say. It yeah. never never came to fists or anything, yeah. but no. it was a very <laughs> 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 shame. Oh shame. Oh god. Yeah. But it no. could have done. Yeah, we found out could've that Jerry Hayward got punched in the face last time. So. Good. Was it Jerry? Was it Emma? No, it was Jerry. Jerry got punched. I know. Can you believe? No, I never, I never punched anybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did do a quick leg kick to the face. <laughs> yeah. I would be that talent. I tell you Four that. Four three. Just so you hit the <laughs> car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh, don't. No. Um, would you ever collab with the Spice Girls? Yeah. Why not? Love that. Um, favorite. Have you got like a favorite ever? Um, favorite other girl band aside, obviously yourself. Oh gosh, I mean, TLC was my jam growing up. And yeah. Vogue, I feel so incredibly inspired by. Um, I mean, Little Mix, I guess I just love them all. I just love good music and yeah. I love badass performances. Yeah. So yeah, I just have moments probably from most girl groups from like Fifth Harmony, like they had some bangers yeah, yeah. while it lasted. I know. You know? I know, till they did that. Do you remember that performance when oh, they like not, chucked Normani off the right. stage? It's not all right that. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't Would do that. Would you have ever done that? God. No! <laughs> who, who sat in that creative meeting? It was like, so, let's go on the stage. This oh is what God. we're going to do. You're going to start your big performance and then we're just going to rip her off. Like, oh no. my God. Somebody raise your hand and say, no, this is not okay. <laughs> I, remember, I remember giggling so much and the memes were so funny as well. Oh my I God. think it was definitely like a meme moment. Do you know what but I mean? But it destroyed him. Yeah, I know. Destroyed him. I know. I mean, Camilla Cabello's not mad about it, but... <laughs> I know, she's releasing those Christmas songs. She's, she's doing great, She's doing just she? fine. I